the Honourable Member for Rosevears. Thank you, Mr President. Um, Member for Elwick, have you been sneak, having a sneak preview of my speeches? Probably. <laughs> because, <laughs> because today I'm going to talk about, um, about the subject you're on about, but not, not specifically about your group from uh, Newtown High School. But uh, I'd like to just highlight that our democratic system is weaker than perhaps it should be, Mr President, because of uh, perhaps a widespread ignorance of the electoral and parliamentary processes. And this is not helped, of course, by the way that politics is portrayed in the media, and even less so because of a glaring gap in the way most education syllabuses around Australia are enforced. Entering adulthood without an understanding of our political system is seldom corrected. People lose interest in how politics works and are unlikely to take the time to learn. The time to give Australians an understanding is at school about the role of parliament. I want to commend the work that's being done by our education officers, uh, one of whom is here uh, now, uh, Orly Charrington, and also uh, Kimbra McCormack, who do a splendid job. Now, uh, on checking for this speech, I asked the numbers that uh, they actually have coming through Parliament House, and we've taken the past 12 months. So, students visiting on a sitting day to watch the debate, 1,191. Students visiting on a non-sitting day, either to tour or do the House of Assembly role play, 3,478. So, in fact, 4,700 students in total, and that doesn't include our youth parliament or uh, the students that they've reached during their school outreach program. So that's a, a, just a wealth of uh, connection to younger, younger people. So our education officers are to be congratulated. But uh, what I'm going to do is introduce uh, Hugh Magnus, who is uh, in the chamber here today. And I think we all received the email from Hugh Magnus and his comments on, uh, on the disturbing uh, situation as he views it. I'm going to quote from his email just to refresh your memories. Today I'm writing to you on behalf of students Tasmania-wide to address a major problem in our education system. Recently it has come to my attention that there is another subject listed in the Australian curriculum that we are not taught at school, namely civics and citizenship. Civics and citizenship is the subject that deals with educating us about how our country is run. This includes how laws are made and passed, how people are elected to Parliament, the role of the High Court, the responsibilities of the Parliament of Australia and the functions of different systems of government. The decision made by the Department of Education to not make civics and citizenship a compulsory subject for years 9 and 10 is so extraordinarily problematic, one wonders what government in its right mind would do such a thing. To take away the next generation's understanding of how our country works shows a serious lack of responsibility on your part, our part. The 2016 National Assessment Program for Civics and Citizenship shows that almost two out of three Grade 10 students don't have the basic knowledge to be informed and capable citizens of our country. With politics being ever more important, a lack of understanding is a colossal problem. This is resulting in a new generation of ignorant people who couldn't tell you what the terms House of Representatives or Senate mean let alone the roles of a Legislative Council or a Cabinet. Already this is being shown. The political apathy and ignorance at my school, uh, Woodbridge High I might point out, and uh, many others that I visited is overwhelming. People just aren't learning about the importance of voting and making sure they know what's going on with the running of our country. I call on you, for the sake of the next generation, to please make sure civics and citizenship be enforced for students in years 9 and 10 at all schools in the state to ensure the next generation has a strong sense of political literacy. Well, I hear you, Hugh Magnus. 
Thank you very much for your email and highlighting that issue that you bring uh, to our parliament here today. And thank you for your contact. And uh, I'm confident that all members of this House would like to see a much higher degree of the understanding of our political processes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.